Hello there and welcome to the channel. So I want to show you five editor tweaks you can apply to your Bricks Builder editor interface. As you can see, this is quite different from what you're used to. Let's take a look at the original interface. This is the default Bricks interface. So you have the margins line up horizontally like this. And I want you to take note of something. You also have these buttons here. And um, personally, I find those buttons quite annoying. And then, uh, Another thing is, let's say you want to apply a CSS variable, let's say var height. Okay, so it goes down there and uh, for this, you want to apply the same, let's say var age. So yeah, that, that one doesn't jump into the unit. And, uh, and also you have this uh, add button here. But in this modification, what I have here is this has been altered. Now, this was done by, you know, members of the Bricks community on the Facebook group. And a couple of us, you know, took it and then tried to tweak it to our test. There's been a lot of modifications. So this is the version that I modified to suit what I want, the way I like it. So what I did here was, uh, uh, we already had this uh, layout, which I think it visually represents the top left, right and bottom. And I, I prefer it this way. A lot of people pref prefer this. You know, they argue that it is, you know, the right order of the CSS property. But I think this is a visual builder and it should be ordered visually. So I prefer this. Now, one advantage of this is you have enough space. Now, if you wanted to type in something here, um, you have a very little space here. But now if I wanted to type var height, so you can see while I'm typing, you know, I have enough gap. So it, it goes here, actually, it still goes there, but on hover. So what I did was, in my own case, on hover, it comes out so you can you can see it, and but it hides there. So that is what I did there. So on hover, that will come up. You can choose any unit, uh, but you can also type your CSS variable. So once you type var, it recognizes that. And actually, you don't really have to hit enter. You just um, come out of it. But if you hover, you see the whole thing. I think this is, um, I like it, it's quite useful. And of course, you can also apply that. Then uh, another modification I did in my own case was to increase the width of this. I usually find it uh, quite, um, you know, annoying to come here to, I want maybe I want to s click to, you know, write a, a value. And then I mistakenly hit this. So what I, I did was I made this bigger. And then I took off those arrows. I actually took off the arrows on all of this. So you can see um, all this has those arrows. I don't like those arrows. Bricks has a cool feature where you can scroll up uh, to change the unit. So that arrow is really quite unnecessary in my opinion. So so that is um, that's another modification I did. And then another one was I usually find myself fumbling. You know, a lot of times I go here trying to add element, like I just by default, you know, go here. And I kind of feel that the add button should be one of the most prominent things. So I had to make mine big. So you can see the way it works is uh, once you are, once you are, you know, on the select element page, it doesn't light up. But um, if you go out of the select element page, it lights up so it shows you look you can click to go back to the select element page and once you add an element so it doesn't light up again so that's uh, those are the five modifications I have the first one being this and then the second one being the rearrangement here the third one being uh, this um, expansion of this unit input and the fourth one being this expansion of this and then the fifth one removing the arrows so that is the Bricks Builder editor tweak that I have for you. So if you want to uh, apply the same tweak to your editor, so what you do is you go to the back end of Bricks, go to settings, go to builder, and then set it to custom and save. Once it is saved, you're going to take the CSS that I'm going to provide for you in the link below, and then you're going to paste it and click save once that is save then you can go back like you can see this is the old interface if i refresh it 
uh, it's going to give me the new tweak. So if I go back in there, so I'm going to see my new tweak. All right. I hope you like this. So if you like it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you some other time. Have a great day.